There's a strange coincidence with Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman. There's a love triangle there, and and a few years back, you were in Vicky Cristina Barcelona. The, uh, yeah, right. And there's another <laughs> love triangle, two women yeah. in love with the same guy, and and the interesting thing about this is one was written by a man and one was written by a woman. Mm -hmm. I felt the difference. I, when, so like when, when it came to shooting the sex scenes, there was a different atmosphere. Often sex scenes are excruciating because everyone gets really serious suddenly. And you know, actors get really preoccupied with like, am I gonna look sexy, you know, and I'm gonna start doing some push-ups and like do, do some stomach crunches and like how can I look the most sexy? And it's just like every sense of anything real just disappears. It's like we stop, everyone stops doing their job for that hour or whatever right, it is. Right. And I just find that kind of ridiculous. <laughs> so I was really, I was really, I noticed the difference on this because Angela framed a lot of the sex scenes with a different sort of narrative. Like the the big one that we do between the three of us, she was like, "I don't want this just to be like you, you know you you get start going at it in a bedroom and you know after some whatever it is." She's like, "How about?" we're playing dress up in a theater right. and there's fantasy and there's game plays and then that kind of feed into the comic book imagery and you know and then we'll find these women sort of playing and I want you to laugh and I want you to have fun and um, we did nonetheless all show up to do that scene you know sheepish and serious looking and nervous because you know that's the mood and not look quite looking each other in the eye <laughs> we got ready to do the first take and Angela called action and suddenly from loudspeakers we got like the first couple of bars of Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On. Yeah. Down, 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 down. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were hysterical, yeah. hysterical. There was no going back from that. That's the secret right there. And that's the secret right there. Put on the yeah. universal <laughs> sex anthem. <laughs> and then everyone, yeah, yeah. yeah, and then everyone like knows where they are. But in all seriousness, I, d I did notice the difference. There was there was another thing that was different about it was that Angela was really preoccupied at every interaction, especially the sexy ones, um, uh, with consent. Like she was really obsessed with it. So you're not talking about consent among the actors. You're talking no. about consent among the characters uh, in the narrative. And but that also the tr the trickle down effect of that was that we were all very like trusting and careful with each other. And, but Angela sort of weaves all of this in really subtly in the film, like you wouldn't necessarily, so that you, again, so that the audience accepts it. They just accept it all as quite sort of normal.